Okay, here I have um, my setup. The CZ, uh, it's actually an old Bruno Fox that I got rebarreled by uh, Fergal White. Put a 17 Hornet barrel on it for me. It was a 2.2 Hornet originally. Uh, I just got it changed up. Now what I have here is a comparison. I have uh, four bullets, 17 Hornet is in the middle. Okay, so we've got our 7mm Remington Magnum there, which I have. 243, also another calibre that I own. And our little 17 Hornet there, which really is a little baby compared to the 243 even. And just as a comparison there again, I have 22LR. So it's considerable more power than the 22, and considerably less power than a 243 and uh, 7 mil magnum dwarfs it all together but um, it's a serious little bunny round so, so what happened here today is I um, there's not very much wind but there's a little bit of wind and uh, I shot successfully from 100, 200, 250, 300 and 360 yards I hit the cartons with the first shot at 425 yards, I had, or sorry, 410 yards, I had, I just couldn't connect with the, the carton. I tried dialing up, dialing down, dialing left, dialing right, holding, watching the bullet trace in the, in the video screen after I took the shots. And with the changeable, even though it's only light wind, the changeable wind, the uh, little, little, little 20 grain bullet wasn't able to give me any kind of consistent trajectory to be able to track and, um, so in conclusion, you probably can shoot this out past 400 yards if you're a better shoot shot than I am. Uh, but it's very light. You wouldn't be shooting any, any animals out past 400 yards anyway, certainly, because it just wouldn't have the energy. Um, obviously it would kill something, but uh, it, it wouldn't be humane. So I'd, I'd say this would be 300, 350 yard maximum in uh, low wind conditions. So that's... That's it, 17 Hornets. And uh, I'm going to go down now and I'm going to take a look at each of the cartons and examine them. If, if there's a true and true, like just a straight hole, true and true, I'll consider that um, a non expansion of the bullet. If there's a, a breakage of the carton, I'll consider that an expansion and we'll consider that a, a humane kill. So that's the way I'm going to judge that. So, see you in a minute. <coughs> This is a small experiment of my own to see how far my 17 Hornet is effective to. I've got milk carton set out there at various distances out as far as 425 yards and I'm starting off with this Coke, uh, 2 litre Coke bottle at 100 yards. As you can see I'll go out along, that's 200 yards, 250. 300, 350, or sorry, that's actually 400 yards there, and the last one is at 425. So I'm going to zoom back here now, and I'm going to start with this. Excuse the camera work now. I'm going to start with this guy here at 100 yards. So 17 Hornet, 20 grain VMAX, 100 yards. Now to move up, we're jumping to 100, another 100 yards and we're going to 200 yards and the last one there, that's 250. We're going to shoot now at 200 yards. My uh, ballistic calculator is telling me to come up four clicks, so that's what I've done. Okay, 200 yards, 20 grain VMAX. Perfect. So we'll continue on to 250 yards without taking any break. 
Sorry now I have to adjust the camera slightly. So like I said, that's 250 yards there. And my ballistic calculator, which is the ice tree lock, is telling me to come up. If I can type it in. Calculate. In total it's telling me to come up two and a quarter MOA. So in total that's two and one quarter MOA. Right, so that's 250 yards, decent enough solid hit. Okay, there's the 250 yard hit there, and the next carton, even though it looks right beside it, is actually at 310 yards. And uh, my ice lock is telling me to come up 4 MOA. So I'm coming up 4 MOA, 310 yards. So 310 yards, solid hit. So we're right up as far as 350. It's actually 360 yards. According to my rangefinder, which is the uh, Leica Rangemaster 1200. So just forgive the old uh, shaking here now, I need to adjust the camera. Okay, we're at full zoom there. So 360 yards and my ice tree lock is telling, to, telling me to come up. Close, uh, five and a half MOA. So that's five and a half MOA from my 100 yard zero. That's five and two clicks. There's also a bit of slight windage. So I'm gonna hold for that because it's only like one or two miles an hour from the right hand side at about two o'clock. So I'm gonna hold slightly right. So here we go. Okay, 360 yards, 20 grand VMAX. Okay, I could see the hit through the scope there now. I'm gonna stop now and have a look at the camera to see that I actually, um, did it come up on the camera. Okay, that's uh, master bringing all these back together here to make a, a comparison. Now, 200 yards with 17, just blew that carton to pieces, that's inclusive, okay? 200 yards, no problem. I had a glancing shot here at 250, but still blew the back of the carton off. Still a bit of water left in it. It was my fault. It was still blue. The bit it did hit, it still blew it apart, so 250, still good. 300 yards, okay? It entered here. There's the entry hole. Right there where my finger is. There's a crack here. And it split the back of the carton open. So, not an explosive hit, but still, it, it must have expanded to be able to crack the bottle open. You can see there that there's an, the uh, exit wound, or the exit of the, of the bullet is there. Still, a, still looks quite small, so we're pushing the limits 
of the uh, of the caliber there at that distance. Okay. Now, 360 yards again. It was a glancing shot. Didn't hit perfect. There's the impact right there, and there's the exit right there. Now, maybe if I hit it square, maybe it would have given a better shot. But look, it's 360 yards. Very small caliber. So at that distance, it doesn't have much energy. So my conclusion for the 17H Hornet is: don't shoot it past 300 yards. It's just not. It's just not going to be able to. It's not going to be able to fly straight. It's not going to be able to kill properly. So 300 yards or less, 17 Hornet. Foxes, rabbits, crows, whatever you like. Okay, just to finish off what left, what cartons I've left, I'm here at 60 yards and 85 yards. And I'm going to shoot those two cartons with my 0.22 LR, subsonics. for a bit of fun. <laughs> 